In this video, we're going over how to unlock the Samsung Galaxy J3 so you can use it with any carrier. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the cool technology that's coming out and learn tips, tricks, and hidden features and how to's, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. We're going to show you today how to unlock your J3 so you can use it with just about any carrier. Go to the phone app for the first step here. You're going to tap on the dialer and type in star pound zero six pound. That's going to show us the IMEI. For the next step, we're going to go to Google Chrome. And we're going to go to the website, theunlockingcompany.com. And we're going to just answer a couple of prompts, starting with the manufacturer of the phone, which is Samsung. And the model, you're going to go down to Galaxy J3. There are a lot of galaxies, FYI. J3. Tap unlock now. On the next page, you're going to answer a few more of the prompts. So, where you purchased the phone and the carrier. Tap next. And on this next page, you will need to enter the IMEI that you got in the first step of the video. So we'll go ahead and input that now. Put in your first and last name, your email address, your phone number as well. Before you hit order now, make sure you read the disclaimer right here which lets you know that this unlock is, uh, it's unlocking the phone so you can use it with any GSM carrier. And examples of GSM carriers are AT&T, T-Mobile, MetroPCS, Cricket, Consumer Cellular. Um, and the carriers that you will not be able to use the phone with are CDMA, which is a different type of network. So any phone under a CDM net, CDMA network will not work uh, even though the phone is unlocked because the networks are different. So some CDMA networks are Verizon, Sprint, Boost Mobile, C Spire, and several others. Uh, my advice to you is uh, if you don't see your carrier on either of these lists, just Google their company and just type CDMA or GSM. It'll tell you uh, what type of network they use or go to their website and look for a link that says uh, bring your own device compatibility. And in that, you can use the interest and information about the phone and they will tell you if the phone would be compatible with their network. It's important to check that first because um, you don't want to unlock the phone if it's not going to work with the particular network that you're trying to use it on. So definitely do your due diligence. Check that first. Um, this is what it normally costs to unlock the phone. This is what you're going to pay. So you always get a discount with the unlocking company. This is the average turnaround time after you submit the request. And it's important to note at the top of the screen, you will find a support phone number, a support email, and a live chat you can connect with if you have any issues with the unlock. From here, we're gonna tap order now. And while you wait for that email message, you're gonna just power down the phone, hold down the power button, turn the phone off, and in the box of the phone, you're gonna to wanna to use this little SIM tool to take out the SIM card. Um, this is one of the few phones you can still take the back off, so let's go ahead and do that. You actually may not need the SIM tool now that I think about it. Take the back of the phone off. You will take the battery out. And usually the SIM card is gonna be somewhere in here. Um, at this point, you would just put in the new SIM card you want to use. There we are. Put the battery back in. Put the back back on. And you're going to hold down on the power button to restart the phone. 
Now at this point, you will need to wait for the instructions from the unlocking company. They'll have the final steps that you'll need to follow to finish the unlock. One thing it's important to just understand is the, the process to unlock the phones uh, constantly changes. So uh, for that reason, it's better for us to end the video here. At this point, you just wait for that response email or text from the unlocking company with your pen, as well as the final instructions and follow the instructions. And if you have any issues, again, go back to one of those support options to follow up. Um, they have great customer service. They'll make sure your unlock is completed. We hope you guys did find this video helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll also drop a link in the description below with the full website. And uh, leave us a comment down below. Let us know your thoughts on the video and if it was helpful. Thanks again for watching. Take care and have a good one.